Okay, fourth year, so we're going to continue on with neutralisation. We've had a look at acid-base neutralisation. Now we're going to look, uh, we've looked at um, metal carbonate neutralisation. We're going to now look at metal oxide acid neutralisation, which is on page 32 of your acid and base booklets. So, can we open up page 32? What I'm going to do is I'm going to work through, I'm going to carry out an experiment, uh, steps one to six on page 32, and then you guys are going to go on to page 33 and carry out the, or fill out the necessary questions and theory based on this experiment. So, first step is measure out 20 milliliters of dilute acid into a 100 milliliter beaker. So, we have 0.5 more or 5.5 mole per litre sulfuric acid. We measure approximately 20 millilitres of acid. There we go. And yeah, I've got glasses on. And then spatula by spatula, I'm going to add in, or oh, roughly half a spatula per time, go to add in magnesium oxide. So this is a metal oxide, magnesium is a metal, group 2 metal, magnesium oxide, um, chemical formula MgO. We add in half a spatula at a time and give it a stir. So I'm going to stir this until all the metal has reacted and then there's no metal oxide reacted and there's no solid left at the bottom, at which point I'm going to add in more spatulas and I'm going to do so until you start to see some solid metal oxide left at the bottom, which means the neutralisation reaction has finished, has completed. So, Okay, so a few minutes have passed. I've added in roughly four uh, half spatulas of magnesium oxide and no more is reacting. It's just staying a cloudy colour and there's some magnesium oxide left at the bottom of the beaker, which means the reaction, the neutralisation reaction has finished. This solution is completely saturated now and um, no more can react. So what we're going to do is get rid of any excess metal oxide by just placing it through a simple filter funnel. Roughly five minutes have passed. Um, most of the filtrate has passed through the filter funnel into this conical flask. I do apologise for the dog barking in the background. Um, so there's a little bit left, but I'm just going to take it out, pop in here. What I'm now going to do is evaporate off this water and see what we're left with. So in a neutralisation reaction, um, we have the metal oxide, we've got the acid, and what we're left with is water. And we're going to see if there's any other products formed in this reaction. So I'm going to pour it into an evaporating basin. Like so. And evaporate off the water and see if we've left with any other products in our neutralisation other than water. So all the filtrate has now evaporated. And looking in the evaporating basin, what we are left with is a salt product. So the two products of a metal oxide acid neutralisation are water, which has now been evaporated, and salt. So now we're going to look at the chemistry behind it before you guys go on and do page 33 of the booklet. Okay? So what we have to really look at just now is what the general equation of a metal oxide acid neutralisation is what the specific word equation is for the reaction I just did there and what the chemical equation for that reaction is. So first of all, the word equation for the general uh, metal oxide acid neutralisation is metal oxide plus acid, metal oxide acid gives us water and a salt. So on page 33, there's a question asking for the general equation. This is a general equation here for acid and metal oxide neutralization. The specific word equation for the reaction I just did there, well, what metal oxide did I use? I used magnesium oxide.
I use sulfuric acid and acid. And well, what did I give us? Well, what is the salt name? Well, first of all, I gave water, so I gave water. But how are we going to name the salt based on the metal oxide and the acid? Well, what part of the salt comes from the acid? Well, it's the second part, it's the surname, as you, as you might. So, what's the second part of the acid? The salt going to be if it comes from the acid? Well, it's going to be sulfate. Sulfate comes from sulfuric acid. So, it's going to be something sulfate. Well, what is the metal ion we're left with? We're left with an Mg2 plus ion, so we're left with magnesium. So, the magnesium and the sulfate ion give us magnesium sulfate. And now we're going to take that one step further and look at the chemical equations. So the chemical formula for magnesium oxide is MgO. If in doubt about ionic compound formulas, you want to use the SVX method. So I'll do a quick run of that, okay? SVX, so magnesium, symbol Mg, oxygen, magnesium, uh, oxygen, symbol O. Valency is two, so in group two magnesium, so it's a valency of two. Oxygen in group 6, which means it has two unpaired electrons, which means it also has a valence of 2. Cross it over, Mg2O2. Remember, when the numbers are the same, you can just divide them. So you're left with MgO. So that's the chemical formula for magnesium oxide, which is an ionic compound, remember, metal, non metal. So magnesium oxide plus H2SO4, H2SO4 being the chemical formula. For sulfuric acid, it's one you have to know off the heart. You've got to learn them. That's what you give water. And what we're left with. So we're going to take the oxygen or the oxide ion from magnesium oxide. We've got the H plus ions, the, the hydrogen ions from the acid. So what we're left with is the positive magnesium ion and the negative sulfate ion. So Mg. SO4. So, general equation, word equation for the specific reaction, chemical equation for a specific reaction. Okay. So, now have a go on page 33 of the example provided and see how you get on.